In this video, I'll show you how to make a very cool item using this type of wood, which is easy to find. The wood I'll be using for this project is all pine. Here we have three pieces that were removed from a pallet. They measure 1 meter and 20 centimeters in length and 7 centimeters in width. I will also reuse this lining board. It measures 2 meters and 70 centimeters in length and 10 centimeters in width. With the miter saw, I will cut six pieces from this board, each 33.3 centimeters long. From the woods measuring 7 centimeters in width, I will also make small pieces. There will be 4 parts with 36 centimeters and 4 parts with 21 centimeters. In the next step, I will make the thicknesses uniform by running everything through the planer. On these four parts, here on the table saw, I will make cuts on both sides, removing just a few millimeters to clean the sides and standardize the width. In the end, they will be 6.8 centimeters wide. Now, on all of them, I will make two grooves, one here and another here, 5 millimeters from the edge. The groove depth will be 5 millimeters and the width will be 7 millimeters. Here are the finished grooves. Now I will make a 45 to cut on both sides of all pieces, always with this part facing down. These parts, made with the lining board, will be cut on both sides to remove the joints, and in the end, they will be 6.3 centimeters wide. Of these four leftover pieces, I will use only two, as they will be sufficient. I will save these two for future projects. From each of them, I will make two pieces, each 2.8 centimeters wide. In length, I will make these two pieces 18 centimeters and these 32.5 centimeters. Now I will make some markings. I will divide all the pieces into three equal parts. I already have the combination square set at five centimeters and I will make a mark like this. On both ends, I will use the square to draw a line. Now I will use one of these pieces and place it like this. Aligning well with the line that was made, I will draw a line on the other side. I will do the same on this line as well. I will repeat this process on the other piece. I adjusted the square to 9.8 centimeters and will make a mark on this side. And on this side too. I will use this piece to make the mark just as I did before. The markings look like this. To get these measurements, you need to take the length of the piece minus two times the thickness divided by three. Then you will have the required interval. Now I have set the square to 15 millimeters and will make a mark like this. This is the part I will remove on the table saw from all pieces.
If you've made it this far into the video and are enjoying it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, check the description, where I always leave useful links for woodworking enthusiasts. Here are all the cut pieces. Now I will recap all the measurements. Here we have six pieces measuring 33.3 centimeters by 6.2 centimeters wide. The thickness is seven millimeters. These two measure 21 centimeters in length from the outside. They are 15 millimeters thick and 6.8 centimeters wide. These two also measure 6.8 centimeters wide, but the length is 35.5 centimeters, also measured from the outside. These two pieces measure 2.8 centimeters wide by 32.5 centimeters long. The smaller ones measure 18 centimeters by 2.8 centimeters. The four parts are 15 millimeters thick. Before assembling, I will sand everything using the random orbital sander with 180 grit sandpaper. Now I will do the assembly. I will start with this piece. I will apply some glue to the grooves that were made. I will spread it with a small brush. I will clean off the excess glue. This is the next piece. I will place it like this. I will use another piece like this and place it like this. Always cleaning off the excess glue. The next one to be added is one of those measuring 21 centimeters. I will apply glue to the groove. I will also apply glue to the corner. Glue will also be applied here. Now I will fit it like this making sure the alignment is perfect and the center pieces are well fitted. I will apply glue to the other 21 centimeter piece. Now I will fit it in the same way as before. Next, the other parts will be fitted, always applying glue to this part. Removing the excess glue, especially from the inside. Once that's done, I will place the other pieces. This will be repeated again. Now I will place the last part. It will be fitted like this. After gluing the item, I checked the square, it's okay, then I clamped it tightly to press the piece well and make the gluing perfect. I will leave it this way until it dries, then I will come back for the next step. Several hours have passed, the glue has dried, so I will sand again using the random orbital sander with 180 grit sandpaper. On these grooves, I will sand manually with 180 grit sandpaper as well. Next, I will split the item into two by cutting on all four sides. This part will be 20 millimeters thick. I cut on both sides to go through the wood. Now I have adjusted the saw height to 14 millimeters as the piece is 15 millimeters thick. This way it will be held and I will finish the cut later with the Japanese saw. Here, the cleaning will be done using the chisel. With the sanding done, now I will finish the assembly. I will use glue and start with this piece. It will be glued like this. I will do the same with this part. Now I will take the smaller ones. I will apply glue like this and in the cavities too. I will place it here. The same will be done with the other one. On this part, which will serve as a lid for the item, I will glue these two strips. 
They measure 18 centimeters in length by 11 millimeters in width by 7 millimeters in thickness. They will be glued on the ends. The lip of the lid joint is 4 millimeters. Here is the finished lid. To finish the item, I will apply natural mineral oil over it. Well folks, here is the finished project. It's a box for accessories and small objects. An item that was made 100% with reused wood. If you liked it, leave your like and subscribe for more videos. Share your opinion about this project in the comments. It will be an honor to respond to you. Become a member of the channel for a small contribution. You will get exclusive benefits and help in the creation of new videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.